Uh, now. <laughs> All right, I'm Joel Anderson, and once again, on behalf of the 31 artists here at Archway Gallery, you're welcome. Uh, a couple of quick announcements before we get into the program. We have a new artist with us joining us, uh, Anthony Pavolano. So this is his wonderful uh, cut work, cut paper across the desk. Welcome, Anthony. And then we're also sad to say a couple of our members are retiring to parks outside of Texas. So uh, Tom Urban, our wind turner, will be departing to uh, North Carolina. And Michael Mistrick up to Little Rock. So this is their last month at the gallery and your last chance to buy some other art without outrageous shipping charges. <laughs> If you're a fellow artist and want to participate in our juried exhibition next month, we have a prospectus on the, the corner here. So um, we'll start receiving art on uh, July 1st and 2nd, I believe. Um, coming up this month, we've got a lot of stuff, so I'll my notes. Um, singing, dancing, etching, we'll start with the the music portion. So this coming Friday and Sunday, we have the Shosu Duo, which is a Shakuhachi in part. And I say Shakuhachi like I know how to pronounce this. It. <laughs> it's uh, I understand a Japanese flute of sorts. So that will be a, a nice program. It's free, but with a suggested $20 donation to the artist at the door. Uh, end of the month on June 30th. Oh, by the way, that those are Friday is at 7, and Sunday is at 6. Right. Yvonne Smith on her viola will be performing here Sunday, June 30th at 6. Again, that's free, and a, a $10 to just a donation to the artist. That is the music. We have a couple um, etching demos going on, since uh, that goes with our theme this month. Sunday, June 16th at 3 p.m., John Slaby be demonstrating. And then the following Sunday, the 23rd at 3, Kevin Cromwell will be uh, bringing his tool out. Also on the 29th, <laughs> Kevin will be pushing a yard roller to do some uh, etching prints, which will be interesting. Also that same evening, we're having a kind of closing ceremony. So music, um, um, we'll be having some posters printed throughout the month, so those will be on display and uh, available for purchase. And lastly, I think, this coming Friday and Saturday. And with that, welcome to our June exhibition, uh, Evening Image 2019, as part of Print Houston. I'm going to introduce the six artists we have participating in the show, and leading things off alphabetically, Kevin Cromwell. Come on up and tell us a little bit about What's going on with the show, your work, and your inspiration? Okay, so um, yeah. this show is part of, of course, the Frank Houston 2019 event. So, uh, how many people are, am I too quiet for you in the back? Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. How many people here have been to a print uh, event this month, this last month, May or June? June starts today. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so all of, uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, every other year, so this is 2019, the next one will be 2021, is Print Houston, thank you, the Print Houston print event uh, orchestrated by Print Matters, and uh, we try to get the galleries and artists together to show prints and experience that wonderful world, so we're here today, thank you. Yes, so we do have calendars for people up here at the front desk. Uh, so this show here uh, is part of that exhibition, and we're glad that you made it. I'm Kevin Cromwell, and I am one of the artists that was lucky enough to be a part of this show. Uh, here is my piece here. And uh, these are wood blocks, relief printing. Uh, so anyone here a relief printer? I see one, two, okay, a couple, all right. It's real fun, everyone should try it out. Uh, it's not more like a relief picture than printing game. <laughs> but thank you all uh, for everything and uh, coming out. And if y'all have any questions about the art, I'll be here to talk more. 
so I don't talk too long right now. And I'm going to hand it off to Mary Lee, who's the next artist. This show is called Ink and Image 2019. It, we put it together every two years as part of Print Houston. And this is the fourth time that we've done it. So over the last eight years, we've done print, uh, Ink and Image. And Red or Not is our theme for this, uh, this time. We have more knots than we have reds. <laughs> Uh, we're really pleased that you came. I hope you enjoy the show. I have, uh, I have a book up here. So you can get this back. There are a woodcut, a small woodcut. Most of what I have in the show are woodcuts. I hope you enjoy the evening. Hello, I'm Donna E. Perkins, and I'm basically a painter. And I have uh, six prints where I have used UPO, which is a synthetic paper, sort of, you know, and it's not water, it's, a, it's waterproof. And so I'm using, uh, actually, the UPO is both the matrix and it's the paper, and that's the way I'm able to get some symmetrical images. And then I have one small one, that is a, another type of mono type, and it has pencil on it. So, next. <laughs> Shirley Rossetti. Hi, I'm Shirley Rossetti, and because of printmaking, I'm more print today. <laughs> <laughs> to tell you all that when you see the six artists doing their work, there are many, many forms of printmaking. And um, you'll see different styles, different techniques, and different papers. Um, so enjoy it. Uh, mine uh, is also in the middle. And I, I think on that one, I used a Kona paper, which meant that somehow when they were making the paper, they dipped it in Kona coffee. Um, that's what it said. That's what the label said. And, um, but I was by, I use scratch foam, very similar to wood cuts, but it's more pliable. And instead of using printer's ink, I have used acrylic. And for the last few years, I've been playing with how the reaction of acrylic would be on these different papers. And I usually use rice paper too. So enjoy, thank you. Good evening, everybody, uh, thanks for coming. Uh, most of you know me as a realist oil painter, but over the last couple of years I've become very interested in doing etchings. It's something I've wanted to do for a very long time, and I'm very grateful to especially Donna Perkins who kind of vicariously taught me how to do this process, and I uh, really appreciate the support of everybody in the gallery as I've learned how to do etching. So I do zinc plate etching, I'm really drawn to them. There's four examples over here in black, using just black ink. Uh, and I etch a zinc plate using a copper sulfate solution. And I'm drawn to this medium because I love the graininess that you get from an aqua tint. It reminds me of grainy photographs and it has this kind of dreamlike, surreal, and expressive quality to it. Uh, and it allows me to kind of make images without getting obsessed about detail, which is what I normally do when I paint. Um, so I like that, I like that quality about, about the etching. And then for this show, I've done some experimentation behind our director here. You can see an example of the same kind of plates I used to do the black and whites. I started to experiment with color inks and laying the color ink onto the plate and then printing it. So they become monoprints, but by applying the color onto a single plate, they all kind of run together. So you end up with this kind of a different form of expressionistic or impressionistic feel to the, to the piece. So it's a way for me, you know, my tight oil painting to kind of loosen up and do something a little bit different. And I learned tonight that this is called an a la coupe. There's a name for this thing. I just thought it was John rubbing color on it. 
So I am, uh, I'm going to give a little demo uh, June uh, 16th at 3 p.m. I'm going to come in with a couple of plates and some toxic chemicals and I'm going to etch a couple of plates, wear your hazmat suits and uh, <laughs> keep a distance. But it should, be, it should be a bit of fun, so thank you. Okay, I think I'm last and I'm on. So I'm Liz Kansas Spencer and um, I have a variety of screen prints or serographs scattered throughout the gallery. And these are the ones that you'll see that have a, a little bit more color than perhaps some of my uh, compadres, except for John's colorful pieces. Um, these are, this is a retrospective for me because most of these prints were pulled back in the 1980s, late, late 1980s, early 1990s when I was a high school art teacher and I had access to a full dark room, was able to uh, burn the image or expose an image on a screen and then print images after I taught my classes and leave the um, additions out on the students' desks to dry overnight. Come in the next morning, gather them all up, print a new uh, color on a new edition, and go on from there. And it enabled me to be a working teacher and mom and artist all at the same time. It was a wonderful thing. I pulled small editions. Screen printing, as you know, is what you have on your t-shirts um, if you have any kind of t-shirt with a decoration on it that's been applied. And uh, the technology is basically very simple, very inexpensive. Anyone can learn it, anyone can do it. Uh, I've enjoyed it for many years, and I'm looking forward to learning some new processes in the medium. Thank you for coming. I'll take a copy of the price list, and you'll see the little code next to each piece, and you need the price list to figure out how much it is and whose it is. And lastly, I was remiss, I need to introduce uh, or highlight the two guest artists we have on the kind of diagonal wall back here, uh, Dick and Kathy from Houston Glass Studio, our guest artist this month. So, for those who are next to concludes our presentation. We'll have the uh, artists up front to mix and remix. Thank you for coming out tonight.